Hey guys, it's TTL back with another rush kit video for you. Today we're going to be taking our first quick look at the MSI Nightblade, and that's MSI's uh, gaming division, the dragon kind of logo y type side of their, their branding, and it's their all in one or kind of bare bones gaming system. It's, a, it's quite a small MITX um, based system. But it's certainly got a lot crammed in there. Now this one is uh, one that MSI have put together for us. So we've got a full system, but you would generally, uh, you wouldn't get all the bits. But I'm going to give you kind of a, a, a quick look around it, because I don't want this to become a, an immensely long video. But on the front, you've got two normal USB and two super speedy USB, which is obviously USB 3.0. Headphone and microphone, there's an overclock button here so you can just flick that and it will also overclock the system for you. You've got your power switch and your hard drive and your wireless lights. You've got a uh, CD slot down this side and there is a slim one on, on there. Now this at the front is actually technically a handle so you can carry it about. So it's a bit like lands and uh, when you have the overclock mode on you do have uh, red lights that show up at the bottom. Now, I know this is going to go out of shot. Oh, I'll try this way. I'm just going to flick the camera as so you can see. There are little like hexagon bits down here, and when you have the overclock mode on, this all kind of lights up red. Um, now, the venting on the top, I am trying to rush this because I know I'm renowned for doing them really long. So, the venting on the top is actually from the power supply. Well, this is where the power supply is. Oh, let's go this way. Oh, there we go, right. Bottom, that's a removable dust filter. That does come right the way out. And that in there, you can just about see, I think. Yeah, you can just about see it. That is a 290 gaming that's in there. But obviously, you can put whatever graphics card you want in your one, because you'll get it as a bare bones. Um, you may find that some of the shops and vendors and stuff will sell them as pre-built systems, but you'll probably be able to configure it yourself. This is a 120mm fan on the side, um, that's been configured uh, as an exhaust. If we go around this side, oh, there we go. We do have the, uh, the vent for the power supply and there's a dust filter in there as well. And you can take the side off to be able to access it properly. But what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to take the side off, there's two little clips. There's a 92mm fan at the back, by the way. But I'm going to take the uh, two little clips off the back and we'll uh, remove the side panel which does have the Dragon logo on it. Now this fan here is, a, is an optional extra for 290 graphics cards, 290, 290X. But to me it looks like it would fit other stuff, so I'm here anyway. So we're going to remove that, just put that over to the side and then I'm going to rejig the camera. Okay, so this is our first look on the inside. And you can see it's black on the outside, silver on the inside. It's a bit like the old school style cases. It's very compact in there. So I know a lot of the cable freaks are going to be having a little bit of a epileptic fit right now. Well, we've got the slot loading DVD here. There's a three and a half inch storage drive here. Obviously, the storage drive is something that you can add optional later. Um, the slot loading D uh, DVD drive or multi-use drive it's a DVD writer, you can obviously get Blu-rays and stuff, it's, uh, it's like a laptop one. Um, again, vendors may add these for you, MSI will be able to supply them, but you're just going to have to keep an eye on the specs when they do finally get released. But what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to stop the camera quick and just spin the case around so we can get a better look. Okay, so I've done that. Now, right at the very bottom, underneath all of this, there is a 600 watt gold rated power supply. Um, it's ATX as well, so it, it wouldn't be that bad if you wanted to um, change stuff, but the cables are all quite short on it. The uh, CPU cooling fan is, uh, is also an optional thing, because you're generally normally going to just get the motherboard in there, but that is going to be optional up to um, <coughs> excuse me, 113 watts of cooling available on that. You know, so you will be able to get an overclock and stuff out of it. It is quite tight in here. I've been looking and kind of trying to imagine, you know, different CPU coolers and stuff in there but once you have this side panel fan on it's really not going to be a humongous amount of um, room in there. There is the uh, 290 in the side as you can see it's wedged right in the bottom and the fans are right by the, uh, the vents. Now I'm going to just remove these quickly. Now this is something that MSI will send 
with it. I had to clarify this, but it's essentially looks like a two and a half inch um, solid state drive. If you have a look, it's got two SATA connectors and then there's two M SATAs on this. So this is technically uh, running RAID 0. Your system does see these as two individual drives. We just set it all up in the BIOS as RAID and Bosch SSD RAID. Uh, there are 228 um, gigabyte Plexters in there that they've put in there for me, but you will get this, this cage with it. But if you have a look up in this top corner, there's one slot there and then there's another slot for another solid state drive there. So you, could, you can still run two up there if you want anyway. There's only room for one, opti um, one mechanical drive though. Now I'm not going to bother clipping all that back in because we'll be trying to save time now. 92mm Dragon branded fan at the back. The, there's a, an MSI Z87i Gaming um, uh, underneath it all. So it's the Gaming MATX motherboard. The BIOS isn't technically the same as the, uh, the normal one. So if you do buy one of these and you update the BIOS, you have to make sure you get one, the BIOS for the Nightblade because there are slightly different fan profiles on it. Um, but the uh, power goes in the back at the top and then that gets fed through to the um, the power supply up here but it, as you can see it's all properly properly crammed in there um, now I know we've seen things like the bricks and the really small nooks and stuff like that but this I think is quite interesting that MSI uh, uh, taken the kind of the MATX sorry the MITX stroke LAN type of system and they're, they're trying to make it portable but still look cool and keep pricing and stuff down. The pricing hasn't been 100% confirmed yet. Um, I'm still waiting to hear on that because uh, they've, they've given me the price for this full system but I don't know the price of what the bare bones is going to be when it gets to the retailers yet but for this kind of a spec system as this sits here you'd be looking around the £1,000 GBP mark. But anyway, um, I, I did just want to give you a first really quick look at this because the, the NDA is today and I've obviously had the lightning and stuff that I've been doing this week. So time has kind of spiralled out of control. So I just wanted to give you your first look so that you've got something when I'm allowed to first talk about it. But for now at least, this is TTL with our first look at the MSI Nightblade out. <laughs> 